what we'll be creating in Webflow today is this hero section that we have highlighted here. It's going to be the title, these illustration guys, the buttons, and the text elements here. We're going to add these elements into Webflow, and we're also going to style it and make it mobile friendly as well. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a section here, and I'm going to call this hero section and then inside of here I want to add a container next what we're gonna do is add this h1 title so now what we'll do is a uh, heading and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this paste and then we're gonna have a little paragraph under there paste it in here and then we'll also add a button we'll give this a class of btn and then we're going to update the text here to show c pricing and then next we're going to have this text here that we'll copy over as well and then there's also these two little illustration guys which we can uh, copy over and i'm going to just export them as svgs and now let's hop over to webflow and start inserting everything just bring them right in here upload them so there's one guy copy and then i'm going to replace this image with this guy okay great it's starting to come alive kind of <laughs> okay so i guess we can start with styling some of these elements as well add the styles to this button so we're going to go ahead and copy this color i'm going to go ahead and update this color and now i can see that the button does have uppercase text so we'll go ahead and do that so we're going to up the font weight here let's just do a semi bold for now then it looks like there's a tad bit of letter spacing maybe like 0.5 and then i also see the text color is not white it's actually this tan color so now what we're going to do is add some border radius here make it rounded do 100 pixels and then it looks like this button is taller so we're going to go ahead and give it some padding 20s on the top and bottom and then on the left and right 35 ish okay so the button is in place now let's go to the heading and get the right sizes in place so the heading is using 120 pixels we'll go ahead and um, update that by selecting all h1s font size and you can see this is going to be a mega font size so we definitely want to make sure it's stacks okay as we go down and decrease the font size and then the line height maybe make this just a regular one and then next what we need to do is the subheading here we'll just call this p large and for me it just means paragraph large because it is larger font so that is going to be using the 24 so we'll update this to be font size 24 pixels and then now with this little button here we'll just call this this is 14 pixels so we'll just call this p x s extra small now that we have all of the styles in place, let's actually now work on the layout slash responsiveness and positioning of everything. I am noticing that it looks like this does cut off here at secret design ingredient. You could just click enter here and call it a day and center it. But the problem with that is once you go to mobile views, you're going to get weird stuff like this that happens where you have this big, massive open space. And the reason it does this big open space is because you pressed enter on the keyboard. But if you go ahead and delete that, you can see it fits normally now so in order to fix this breaking issue with the text what we're gonna do is wrap it in a little container and call it hero enter and we're gonna give it a max width of let's start with 80% and see what that looks like and you can see 80% kind of keeps everything in the column here and it breaks okay once the max width is set we also want to real quick just give everything a text align center here and i applied that to the hero section here because everything here is centered and real quick before i move on to updating the text let me add some spacing here padding to the top now the spacing at the top is looking good and then the subheading we also need to wrap this inside of a div and we can go ahead and give that a max width let's give this a max width of um let's start with 50 percent and we also want to center this so when something has a width you can just do the margin left and right auto and that'll start centering it and then i'm also gonna do some spacing like that 40 okay that looks pretty good to me for now and then i am noticing that this isn't actually centered so that's because the hero enter needs to be centered as well okay and now we have this button and little text here so we're gonna go ahead and wrap the um, little text and give this a uh, hero tiny text yay and then we're just gonna go ahead and give that a top of about 
about 20 ish pixels all right and there we go that's starting to look pretty darn close and then these two guys you can see that they start to go off screen and whatnot and the way we're gonna adjust them is by giving them position absolutes and then just positioning them differently based on the responsive screen sizes so we'll give these a position absolute but before we do that we want to make sure our parent container where these are nested inside of has a relative and what relative is going to do is allow us to keep these guys inside of the box inside of this container in the blue outline okay this guy's to the left and then this guy let's give him a position absolute and go to the right and then what we need to do is move these guys closer to the title up here so moving them up so we're going to go ahead and say position bottom of the container and then this guy as well position bottom what i'm noticing is that this guy is on top of the text i know in the design it doesn't happen like that but in case on mobile views there is some overlay we want to make sure that he's under the text at all times so we'll say z index negative one negative one and you could see now the text goes over them okay so i am seeing this guy's hand is on the, on the left side of the letter d so we'll go ahead and press him and then go a little left here we're going to start to use these negative values and go a little bit down and then this guy is right under the letter t here his hand we're going to go right under the t so this way and then his hand is about there okay and now if we actually look this is actually a pretty close match to what the design is okay so now let's work on the responsive views for this so desktop is looking good we just built it out next what we're going to do is work on this so you can see here this looks really bloated like first of all these illustration guys are huge and the spacing up top is massive as well and then the max width is making this text the subheading text and crunch up so what we're going to do is we're going to click the hero section here reduce this to like maybe 60 ish and okay, that's looking better make these guys uh smaller so we're going we're going to do is say max width do 250 on this guy and let's do on the right guy 250 pixels as well before we start fine tuning it let's actually get the rest of the element more responsive friendly and that this thing here needs to have its max width removed that's from the parent hey okay, that's looking better and then I am not a fan of how much spacing there is between the subheading and the title. Reduce that by half, I think. Let's do 20. And then same with this. So let's reduce this to maybe like a 15. That looks pretty good for tablet. All right, now let's go down to the next view, which is mobile landscape. We'll adjust the firstly the spacing up here. Let's bring it down to a 30. And then what we're gonna do next is reduce the size of these images as well. Now from 250, let's go to like 150. And then the same with this guy, let's go to 150. I think this subheading text is starting to get a little large for this mobile size. So we're gonna reduce this by like, bring it down to a 20. Okay, and that's looking pretty good to me for the most part. And then mobile views looks pretty close as well, but some minor tweaks. So with the heading, gonna have to reduce this font size so it fits better. And then this as well could be dropped by like a nudge. And then these guys, they do need to get much smaller. Bring these to 150 and bring them down a tad bit. Toaster man, we're gonna go ahead and bring them down to 150. Okay, so as you can see, we have successfully created this hero section with the text, the button, and the illustration guys. Everything is looking good so far. Let me open my inspector and start resizing. It's looking good. This, as you can tell, this text does go on top of this illustration. That way you can still read the text. And then as we scale down, it's breaking the styles based on what we set them to for specific devices. And boom. All right. That is all of the views and they're all looking pretty good to me.